UFC Unlimited Fight Channel. Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. So here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling. Uh, Sample. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar right. to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Alexandria, Minnesota, bad intention. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. famous arena Madison Square Garden. It's crazy to think that not all that long ago, mixed martial arts was not regulated in New York. When that legislation came down, the UFC came strong and we could not be present since. John, we kicked the door in. Yes. If you're gonna open, if you're gonna say you're welcome in MSG, the UFC is coming. And every time we have gone there, we have brought phenomenal fight cards and some of the biggest moments in UFC history. Now for Nick's interesting. Nick will never get their act together and I'm okay with it. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Just missed on the front kick there. Nice. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Powerful leg kick lands. Nice kick. 
Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Ooh, oh. head kick land. He's gotten hurt here. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Good right here. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Big body kick land. Left hand punch from the clinch. Beautiful kick. Three minutes. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Another big leg kick land. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Is all about that left kick to the body. Nice one, two there. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, just exhausting watching some of these takedown attempts. He's unable to get it there. And he's attempting it over and over again. How long before he gets discouraged and accepts that this is going to be a stand-up fight? Oh, big punch lands. Trying to establish that jab once again. That right hand hurt him a little bit. You got to check these low leg kicks. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Leg kick. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back, just truly mixing up the target. Sight to behold. Nice knee to the body there by Lee. Checks the leg kick. Effective jab there by Lee. Final seconds here of round one. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Oh. Round two is next. You won that last round. It was all over you. You did better than that. Come on now. Let's shake it out. Let's get back in there. Let's get back to the game plan. Hands high. Work behind. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Blocks the shot. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. 
he's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive through hey. order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Oh, knee strike right to the midsection there. They're going at it now. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Punch over the top. All right, single collar tie now. And both guys really throwing with authority. Real quick leg kick. Oh, beautiful counter with the jab. Look at the turtle in that kick. Collar tie. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Lee's punch to the body there doesn't get there. Nice job by the defense to block the shot. Nice job behind him. Effective punch there by Lee. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Ooh, what a head kick. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Nice kick there by Lou. Nice head kick. Loaded up on that right hand, too. Lee's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Oh, and he continues to pour it off. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effectively. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning. And you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. Deep breath. Breathe. Take your 
a drink. All right, here we go. Listen. You're doing absolutely awesome. Watch that. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Nice punch land. Lee's kick to the body, that one blocked. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, a huge block there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Liver kick. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing it. So a big knockdown for him in the previous round. Confidence is high and building here in this next round. Confidence is key, and he has a ton of it right now. Blocks the shot. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Way to hide that leg kick. Single collar tie now. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Just over three minutes now to go. Right under the elbows, body kick lane. Beautiful strike. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Lands. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Big kick. Lee's head kick looked like that one was blocked. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shins into his opponent's thigh, beating his leg up. Oh, and he connects with a the punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. Lee gets stung by that leg kick. He's determined to land as many leg kicks as he can in this fight. Lee's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Just misses with that one. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw and he'll continue to wear on his own gas. Oh, big head kick. Nice punch by Lee. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Lee. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. 
final seconds of round three. Right hand, then a left. Big leg kick land. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here, and for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps where the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Good punch, Lance. Look at how he turns his hip no. into that leg kick. Nicely there. And that left hook landed on the button. Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking thing. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Big punch land. Ooh. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tolman. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a oh. great defensive fighter. Oh, he might be in trouble here after that big diving punch. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, side control now. All right, less than three minutes to go here in round four. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop the you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Close guard. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Gets up again here, but hurting. A little single collar tie there. Oh, now he's got the tie from Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You got to start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Oh, you see he's trying to time that counter. Just misses. Swing and a big miss by Lee. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And they separate. 45 seconds remain in the round. Keep your hands up. Let's go. 
And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so active. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. 20 seconds to go. Single collar tie here. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. All right, so there's the end of the round. He has been committed to that body work all night. Certainly paid off over those previous five minutes. Yeah, he's investing in the body. He's not taking out withdrawals. He's depositing into body punching, and now it's showing itself. He's made an investment. Let's see how that investment pays off as we go forward. Always better to be making a deposit than a withdrawal. Oh, yeah, you got to stop taking withdrawals in all situations of your life. Your relationship, your, your, your fighting, everything. Oh! Oh! strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's re-rack the highlight now, DC. And he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early. It was there often and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands, but ultimately, it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at seven seconds of round number five. Playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoy the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. You knock out a man in a cage fight. I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's life. It's a night.